I, I remember breaking a link like this. This is my, my memory of it, so breaking the link. Okay. I, I'm, you know, I used to be a professional hypnotist and, and I give, I uh, had a, I had an institute in Texas and I ran it, uh, you know, uh, hypnotic therapy. Yeah. For seven years. So I learned a lot about, you know, hypnosis because I tend to advance in everything I do. I, I want to know more and more and more and I understand more and more. And so I was very, very popular. I mean, um, very controversial in the early 60s. And okay. so, they had this ladies' club for very important people, and I was one of them. And so I knocked on the door because I was invited to speak to a large group of this mansion. And the lady opened the door. Oh, Mr. Masters! And she, she, and she gave me this big hug, and I had the impulse to, to hug back. But then I saw, oh, what am I doing? So I let her hug me. And I let that moment pass. That was a seminal moment. Yeah. Because from that day on, I saw the danger of people, of people's approval, the need for their approval and their love. And I don't need it. That yeah. doesn't mean to say, it doesn't mean to say I, I don't love people. It means I don't need their love. I don't need whatever it is in them that makes me feel like an important person, like I have worth. Yeah, yeah. Or makes me secure, or some inexplicable way of saying that same thing. I, so, um, I've been married 56 years, so now you know I've survived it because my wife is very uh, stubborn when it comes to that. She wants me to think what she wants me to think, you know, and wants, wants me to want her in the way she wants me to want her, and I'm not going to be a slave of that. Yeah. So I get I'm, I'm out in the cold, so to speak. You know, I get the cold the cold treatment. I don't care because I don't need anybody's love. Now, that doesn't mean to say nobody loves me. There's this very strange dichotomy, if that's the right word. Uh, it is another one of those... Um, um, uh, oh, what, what, what did I use those? Paradoxes. Uh, paradoxes, yes. Thank you. You were listening. Par it's a paradox. If you don't own something, you own it. Yeah. If yeah, you yeah. own something, it owns you. It's the, the illusion is owning. It's only pride that wants to own something and get and because you, if you own it you are in charge of it no it's in charge of you mm. see that 